Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, pancakes. Well, these look incredible. Can't wait to dig in. But something doesn't feel right. You know what? We can make this cheat so much cleaner. Let's take it to the kitchen. Time to get after it. Pancakes. Well, as we just saw, those pancakes I was getting ready to eat, totally desirable, they looked great, but not quite gonna fit my macros. So, what else to do? Bring it to the Quest Kitchen and redesign it. So here what we got today, some protein pancakes, clean cheat approved, low carb, high protein, zero sugar added, time to get after it. It's my pancake shuffle. Mmm, pancake shuffle, baby! Woo! Making pancakes today! So in front of me here, we have a bunch of incredible ingredients. Let's get right into it. First thing we're gonna do is all the wet ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one whole egg, three tablespoons of egg whites, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, four tablespoons or a quarter cup of almond milk, and then to the wet mixture, what we're gonna add is two teaspoons of baking powder. Trusty whisk, let's go ahead and mix it up. That is incredible. Time to add the dries. So what we're gonna start out with first is that Quest Vanilla Milkshake Protein Powder. We've got one and a half scoops, three tablespoons brown rice flour, four tablespoons of zero calorie sweetener. We gotta make these flavors pop, right? So we're gonna add a little bit of kosher salt, quarter teaspoon going in. Now we got these beautiful blueberries over here, third of a cup. So I'm gonna leave them off to the side and I'm gonna fold them in right before I'm ready to hit the griddle. So let's bring this mixture together. Yeah. Mm, I get excited for pancakes. Yes. So now that I've got that all done, you can see the air bubbles are starting to pop a little bit, which is incredible. Time for the blueberries, or what I like to commonly refer to them as, bloobs. That's that. Time to cook up some pancakes. We're gonna take this batter right behind me and hit the grill. Oh, hey, I didn't think I'd see you here. Just kidding, I totally knew you'd be here. All right, let's get after it. All right, guys, so what we're gonna be using is a trusty electric griddle top. This thing worked great for pancakes. We got my nonstick coconut spray ready to go and two tablespoons, tablespoon, don't forget about it. If you got one tablespoon at home, you're just gonna be using it twice, no big deal. Let's go ahead and pop this sucker on. So, we got a heat dial over here that goes all the way up to 400 degrees, but we're only gonna need 300 degrees. We're gonna let this heat up, and then it's pancake time. <laughs> so we're here live at Brian's Test Kitchen getting ready to make some pancakes. To all the viewers at home, comment below what your favorite flavor is. What is your favorite flavor? All right, thank you for the responses. Cool. All right, so the griddle is all heated up. Time to cook, but there's one thing I'm missing, and that's my trusty spatula. All right, so the serving size is gonna be three pancakes, so I'm gonna stop at that. I got plenty of batter for later. Makes 12 in total. Macros are based off of three pancakes, so we're gonna roll with this. As soon as these are done cooking, we're gonna get into that taste these suckers, can't wait. Now here's a cool tip too, right? So when you guys are making these, um, they're not gonna react the exact same way a classic pancake at home is, because obviously using flour and butter. What's gonna happen, like you see right there, is you're gonna start to get some little bubbles, but they're definitely not gonna be the same, like I said, as when you're making a classic pancake. So what you wanna look for is kinda uh, around the exterior, you're gonna start to see that it's gonna start to puff up a little bit, it's gonna almost start to get a rounded edge. And then what I like to do, just to be safe of course, is kinda just scoop up underneath it, and just get a little bit of look at how brown it is. Now you're gonna see too, unevenly, if it's not ready to flip, you're gonna end up getting a little bit of a line of uh, raw batter on the, on the spatula. You gotta make sure it's ready, and you'll notice the difference for sure. So again, let's take a little look. See, so I'm getting under there pretty clean. Pancake is looking nice and golden brown, so it's just about time to flip. So I'm gonna scoop right under there. Boom. Get back under there, one of them bloobs is popping out. I got them, don't worry, I got them. Beautiful, the color of these pancakes looking amazing. Sweet, got my plate. Let's go ahead and get that stack right there. Nice and fluffy. You can see the blueberries are popping out of each side. Wow. Beautiful color too, nice and caramelized. Damn, these look good, huh? You guys wanna eat them? You guys wanna have a bite? Have some. And the only thing I need on top of these pancakes, two tablespoons of sugar-free syrup. Look at that. Mm. I gotta get in here. 
Damn, that was so good, really. Um, I can't believe I finished it all. Here comes the best part, guys, so the macros. For three of those pancakes and two tablespoons of sugar-free syrup, you're looking at 110 calories, that's right, 110 calories in pancakes, 12 grams of protein, which I can guarantee you're not gonna find in your plastic pancake, eight grams of net carbs, substantially lower than a stack of pancakes, and 1.5 grams of fat. Well, my work is done here. I just handed you guys an incredible recipe. You guys are gonna love it. Get after it, make it, put some tweaks into it, strawberries, bananas, uh, whatever you wanna do, comment below. Let me know what you think. Can't wait for more. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe, click on that like button, right down here. See you guys next time, I'm out.